Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to demonstrate the unboxing of my brand new Zaccurate 500C finger pulse oximeter. I promise you that you will all be an expert user by the end of this mini video. This cool electronic mini oxygen monitor is used at home to spot check your blood oxygen level and pulse rate. It's a very simple and easy to use device. It also has energy saving features, which I love. As you all know by now, the pulse oximeter has become a very popular device during COVID-19. It's now become a household name. I am a registered nurse and a lung transplant recipient, so I have ironically experienced using both a hospital-grade pulse oximeter and a consumer-grade pulse oximeter. This box in front of you is a consumer-grade pulse oximeter or a home pulse oximeter. Always consult with your healthcare provider for your individual medical issues and treatment plan. Okay, let's now unbox the Zaccurate 500C finger pulse oximeter. On display here are some paperwork that came inside the box that I've taken out. First is the user manual, product review card, and a product feedback card. And inside the box, is the pulse oximeter with a silicon case and a lanyard. First is the pulse oximeter comes encased in this silicon cover to protect it in case you were to drop it from breaking, just like we have covers for our smartphone. It's a similar concept. It's lightweight, easily comes off. We'll put that on the side. And this is the actual Zaccurate 500C pulse oximeter. And that also comes with a bonus of two AAA batteries, which I put in a short while ago. And it also comes with a lanyard for portability and for, for on-the-go use. So for those avid exercisers, you can use this as a necklace to check your oxygen level at rest. So you would thread this through this hole here and wear it as a necklace and check it at the uh, end of your exercise while at rest. So not during your exercise, at rest. So in total, this box comes with a silicon cover, a lanyard, two AAA's batteries, and of course the pulse oximeter itself, and these user manuals. The Zaccurate pulse oximeter brand has definitely been a keeper for me because it's durable, and has given me accurate result for many, many years. Just as an FYI, I also own a second older model of a Zaccurate finger pulse oximeter, which I would like to share with you. So this is my older model Zaccurate pulse oximeter, which I've used for about seven years and it also came with a silicone cover. And this one I used uh, during my pre and post lung, lung transplant years, and it still works perfectly. The reason I decided to purchase a second one, this newer one, was during COVID, I just wanted to have my own to avoid sharing with family members. So the older one will go to family and I will be using a separate one during COVID. 
So now let's go over step by step of how to use this Zaccurate 500C finger pulse oximeter. Step one, of course, is to first insert the batteries. So it comes with two AAA batteries, which you would insert in the back and close the case. The second thing you would do is activate the unit by pressing this center button. And right now it says finger out because I'm not testing yet. And the way I would test next step would be to turn it back on and put my finger inside where the infrared light is going on. So this finger chamber is hypoallergenic and the recommended finger is right hand and right middle finger for testing. So this is my right hand and right middle finger. I would turn this back on and wait for a result. And there's my result. So it read pretty quickly, instantly. Eight to 10 seconds is what it usually amounts to it to re read a result. So the first number you're seeing that's blinking, it's under percentage SpO2. That is my blood oxygen level, 99. And the next label is PRBPM. That's my pulse rate or heart rate per minute. Those are both normal results. So this gadget only reads your oxygen level and pulse rate, no more, no less. It does not read your, read your blood pressure, just your oxygen level and your pulse rate. And a bonus item is that this newer model also has many displays that you can see your results. So if I were to press this central button, my results change direction. So now it's upside down, now it's sideways. So depending on your preference, this is my preference right now, facing the camera. So you would just click on this button and it has six different displays to read your results. So which is a cool feature. So this is all based on your preference. So it's, it's a, a recap is it's very important that you're sitting down at rest when you're checking your result. And the recommended finger is the right hand and right middle finger, which I have in. And in case the right hand does not give results, your alternate choices are your right thumb, earlobe, or toe. So those are the alternate if the right middle finger didn't work in getting a result. This chamber, like I said before, is hypoallergenic and it accommodates almost any size fingers. It has a spring in the back, which accommodates larger fingers and it reads result in about eight to 10 seconds. And it has six different display for results. So once you're done checking your results, remove the finger. And it says finger out. In about six to eight seconds, it goes into an auto off mode. This smart feature saves battery. What to avoid during a pulse oximeter testing. Number one, for all the ladies out there, please, please avoid dark nail polish like the color green, blue, or black. 
Also, ladies, avoid artificial fingernails and tattoo or henna arts on your fingers. And lastly, for everyone, make sure your fingers are not cold, wet, or sweaty. If you do have cold finger due to weather or poor perfusion, then warm your finger prior to checking the result. As you can see, there are several things to avoid to get reliable and accurate results. When in doubt about your oximeter malfunction, if, for example, if you get an abnormal result reading on your home pulse oximeter, but you're not feeling ill, then check your oximeter accuracy on another family member if this is an option. But it's always best to seek medical evaluation. Three uncommon factor that may display inaccurate pulse oximeter results. Number one, if you are dark skin or a brown skin person like myself, this can display false normal oxygen levels sometimes. If you live in a high altitude, your pulse oximeter can display lower oxygen level. Last but not least, those who are heavy or light smoker may display false results. The Zaccurate 500C finger pulse oximeter are currently on Amazon's best seller list. It's always been sold at a great price. It's affordable by most people. I am specially pleased with its advanced oxygen sensory technology for reliable and accurate readings. As I've said before, I have had the Zaccurate pulse oximeter for many, many years, which includes my pre and post lung transplant years. And I have been a very satisfied customer. I hope you're all feeling like a pulse oximeter expert by now. Thank you all for watching my video. Please feel free to share this video with your friends and family if you think it'll benefit them. Stay safe and healthy.